Peace be with you all. Care to join me in reading? I'll be reading the book of Daniel, chapter 3, and the song of the three children. The book of Daniel, chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, and they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all people, the nations, and the languages, fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, said Drach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy Elohims, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do ye not serve my Elohims, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made? Well, but if you worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a fiery furnace. And who is that Allah that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our Allah whom we serve, he is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy Allah nor worship thy golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his vicious was changed against Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heat. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace very hot, 
The flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Now, let's see what transpired in a burning fiery furnace in the Song of the Three Children. The Song of the Three Children Then Azariah stood up and prayed on this manner, opening his mouth in the midst of the fire, said, Blessed art thou, O Ahaya, Allahim of our fathers. Thy name is worthy to be praised and glorified forevermore. For thou art righteous in all the things that thou hast done to us. Yea, true are all thy works. Thy ways are right and all thy judgments truth. In all the things that thou hast brought upon us and upon the holy city of our fathers, even Jerusalem, thou hast executed true judgment. For according to truth and judgment didst thou bring all these things upon us because of our sins. For we have sinned and committed iniquity, departing from thee. In all things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. Wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us, and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of the lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of Allah, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and a reproach to thy servants, and to them that worship thee. Yet deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for thy beloved Abraham's sake, for thy servant Isaac's sake, and for thy holy Israel's sake, to whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply their seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand that lieth upon the seashore. For we, O Ahaya, are become less than any nation, and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. Neither is there at this time prince, or prophet, or leader, or burnt offering, or sacrifice, or oblation, or incense, or place to sacrifice before thee, and to find mercy. Nevertheless, in a contrite heart and in an humble spirit, let us be accepted. Like as in the burnt offering of rams and bullocks, and like as in ten thousand of fat lambs, so let our sacrifice be in thy sight this day, and grant that we may wholly go after thee, for they shall not be confounded that put their trust in thee. And now we follow thee with all our heart. We fear thee and seek thy face. Put us not to shame, but deal with us after thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy mercies. Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works and give glory to thy name, O Ahaya. And let all them that do thy servants hurt be ashamed. And let them be confounded in all their power and might, and let their strength be broken. And let them know that thou art Ahaya, the only Allahayim, and glorious over the whole world. And the king's servants that put them in, cease not to make the oven hot with rosin, pitch, tow, and small wood, so that the flame steamed forth above the furnace forty and nine cubits, and it passed through and burnt those Chaldeans it found about the furnace. But the angel of Ahaya came down into the oven, together with Azarias and his fellows, and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven, and made the mist of the furnace as it had been a moist whistling wind, so that the fire touched them not at all, neither hurt nor troubled them. Then the three, as out of one mouth, praised glorified and blessed Allah in the furnace, saying, Blessed art thou, O Ahaya, Allah of our fathers, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. And blessed is thy glorious and holy name, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thine holy glory, and to be praised and glorified above all forever. 
Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths and sittest upon the cherubims, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the glorious throne of thy kingdom, and to be praised and glorified above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, and above all to be praised and glorified forever. O all ye works of Ahaya, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O heavens, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye angels of Ahaya, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye waters that be above the heaven, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye powers of Ahaya, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O every shower and dew, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye winds, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye fire and heat, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye winter and summer, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye dews and storms of snow, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye nights and days, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye light and darkness, bless ye Ahaya, Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye ice and cold, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye frost and snow, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye lights and clouds, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O let the earth bless Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye mountains and little hills, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O all things that grow on the earth, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye fountains, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye seas and rivers, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye whales and all that move in the waters, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye fowls of the air, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye beasts and cattle, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye children of men, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O Israel, bless ye Ahaya. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye priests of Ahaya. Bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye servants of Ahaya, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye holy and humble men of heart, bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. O Ananias, Azarias, and Mishael, Bless ye Ahaya, praise and exalt him above all forever. For he hath delivered us from hell, and saved us from the hand of death, and delivered us out of the mist of the furnace and burning flame. Even out of the mist of the fire hath he delivered us. O oh, give thanks unto Ahaya, because he is gracious, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, all ye that worship Ahaya, bless the Allahayim of Allahayims. Praise him, and give him thanks. For his mercy endureth forever. As we see what transpired in the furnace, let's see what transpired outside of the furnace. Going back to Daniel chapter 3, verse 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and rose up in haste, and spake, and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, 
I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no heart, and the form of the fourth is like the son of Allah. I am. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ye servants of the Most High Allah, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their heads singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the Allah of Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel, and delivered his servants that trusted in him, who have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any Allahayim except their own Allahayim. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language would speak anything amiss against the Allahayim of Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other Alahayim that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Thank you for joining me in reading. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church.